Welcome to lesson number three. This is a big day. You will be testing and earning your white belt. And I'm super excited. I love awarding students their very first belt because that means you are now making a commitment to the life of martial arts and the journey that you're about to continue on. And I love awarding the black belt, which is a symbol of everybody's hard work over the years. Those are actually my two favorite belts. So let's get started so that way you can become a white belt today. Here we go. Remember, whenever we start class, lots of energy. So right where you're standing in place, we start clapping. So clapping with me, we're clapping, we're clapping, and then set. And you say, yes, sir. Bow. Yes, I can. Use that confident voice. Turn and face mom or dad, wherever they're at. And then from attention, we say, structure. To have discipline, to obey what is right, and follow the rules. Emotion. To have a positive attitude and a passion for life. Knowledge. To apply what we learn in prestige to our everyday life. Legacy. To be a leader and a role model for others to follow. Winners never quit. Quitters never win. And I choose to be a winner. Asa! And then the parents say, Asa! Again, great job. Now make sure that it's not about having every word memorized already. You've only been in two classes. This is your third class. So by practicing it over and over again, you'll start picking up each of the student creed. I usually give the students about a month before they really start owning it and are able to do it on their own. So if you can do it earlier than that, I would love to see it. All right, so after our student creed, do you remember what we do next? Yes, the warm up. So we did our jumping jacks in lesson number one. We added in squats. Today, it's gonna be push-ups. So let's get started, get our body loosened up before we do our brand new technique, technique number three, jumping jacks. All right, we're gonna do 10 of them. Again, you say, yes, sir. All right, here we go, ready, count with me, go. One, sir, two, sir, three, sir, four, sir, five, sir, six, sir, seven, sir, eight, sir, nine, sir, 10, sir. Great, now squats, hands up on top of the head. Remember, these are for the legs. So keep your back straight, your chin up. Look at me, I'm looking at you. Count along, ready, go. One, sir, two, sir, three, sir, four, sir, five, sir, Six, sir. Seven, sir. Eight, sir. Nine, sir. Ten, sir. Oh, all right, great, great job. Okay, here we go. Push-ups. But we want to do strong push-ups, not just any old push-ups. So it's real easy to kind of have a, a loose body and kind of be seesawing as you go. We want to make sure that we start developing a strong body. So what we want you to do, you're gonna lay down on the floor. Make sure your hands are underneath your shoulders. Parents, you're gonna to wanna to help out your kids with this. The first couple of times, they like having their hands way above their head, and that way they stick their butt way up in the air, and then they move about this much. So what we wanna do is we wanna have a straight back. Make sure your hands are underneath your shoulders. So it's gonna look something like this. Then you bend your arms all the way down to the floor, and then all the way back up again. All right, so we wanna work on 10 of them. Let me see your 10. Here we go, ready? One, sir. Great push up. Two, sir. Three, sir. Four, sir. Five, sir. Six, sir. Seven, sir. Eight, sir. Nine, sir. One more. 10, sir. Oh, man. Great, great job. Straighten out those arms. Standing up tall. Now, if you do just 10 push ups a day, every single day in a month, you are gonna be so much stronger than you are right now. So this is where we start to develop good habits and making good choices, making sure that we do our exercises and our push-ups and our stretches all the time. All right, here we go. So we go back to attention, we say set, and you say yes sir. Bow, yes I can. Great job, then remember, imaginary belt, not for much longer, you're gonna have your weight belt after this lesson. Grabbing onto that, we say belief is having a yes I can attitude. All right, so homework assignment number one, using that yes I can attitude whenever mom or dad asks you. 
Can you do something? Yes, I can. Homework assignment number two. Using the yes, I can, standing tall, good eye contact, and a strong voice. All right, so hopefully you've been practicing that one as well because, yes, there is homework number three at the end of the lesson. Every class, we try to make ourselves better. So we say happy, but never satisfied. We always want to be happy with what we've done, and we always want to challenge ourselves to do better. You're going to see that all the time in the program. All right, so let's do a quick review. Lesson number one, we did punches. Lesson number two, we did the front kicks. Lesson number three, today, I have one more technique for you for that white belt. So let's review. Oh, again. What do we do before we get started? What time is it? It's hug time! All right, real quick. Give mom or dad a super big hug. You see, you're the best parent in the whole wide world. All right, once you're done with that hug, get right back on your dot so we can get started. Now we're ready. So we go from attention, set. You say, yes, sir. Bow. Yes, I can. Good horse ride stance, that warrior yell, your ki eye, asa. Punches, super strong, ready. Three at a time, and go, yes I can. And go, yes I can. Go, yes I can. Go, yes I can. One more time, go, once I can. Nice job, shake them out. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. All right, lesson number two was the front kick. So, protect the, Remember what it's called? The coconut. Protect the coconut. It's got our brain. Hands up high. All right. Front kicks. Nose high or higher. Here we go. Ready? One, sir. Now the other leg. Two, sir. And switch it back. Three, sir. And switch it back. Four, sir. Good. One more time. One, sir. Even higher. Two, sir. Good job. Three, sir. Your best kick ever. Four, sir. All right. Nice work, nice work. Okay. Here is your final technique. We are going to work on a high block. So doing a good, strong high block. Hands close tight, just like when we make our fists from lesson number one. Hands in chamber, just like our punches. But now you're going to reach across your body and block straight up so you're protecting your head. All right. Parents, once again, here's your assignment. Start the recording. You're gonna record these high blocks. We wanna see how super strong they are. All right, so from the top, set. You say yes, sir. Bow, yes, I can. Horse right stance, asa. And high blocks, reach across your body, block up, and you would say, what, sir? Now the other hand, the one that's in ready, reach across, block up, and the other one goes to ready, two, sir. Ready, reach across, three, sir. One more, reach across. Four, sir. Nice. Now, it's important to know this is a good high block because we're protecting your whole head. Hand up high means you have a question. So sometimes you might get carried away and block a little bit too high, but then your head's wide open. So let's not do that. Let's have awesome black belt high blocks. Here we go. All right. We're going to go a little bit faster this time. Ready? One, sir. And then two, sir. Switch. Three, sir. And four, sir. Nice, one more time, ready? One, sir. Two, sir. Three, sir. Four, sir. Last ones, ready? One, sir. Two, sir. Three, sir. Four, sir. Great, great job. All right, back to attention, set. You say yes, sir. Bow, yes, I can. All right, fantastic, give me a high five. Boom. Love it, love it, love it. So now, you have a good, basic, start our foundation, as we call it, for martial arts. You know the punch, you know the front kick, and you know the high block. There are gonna be other techniques as you get into class with us that we start doing. Some of them are gonna be brand new, some of them are gonna be review. The idea is you're always getting better at whatever it is we're working on. Sounds like belief, doesn't it? Right? People who believe in themselves always do their best. People who believe in themselves always try to do better. So that's where all of this is gonna to start to tie in to martial arts, to the life skill, to the world. So there you have it. All right, here we go. Super big time, we're gonna test right now. So parents, 
If you stop recording, please start recording again. If you've been recording this whole time, let it go. Here's our test. We're gonna do all three techniques. I'm gonna watch, so see what it looks like. Set! You say, yes, sir. Bow! Yes, I can. Horse race dance, Asa! All right, show me punches, three at a time. Ready, go! Yes, I can. Go! Yes, I can. A little bit louder. Go! Yes, I can. Best one ever. Go! Yes, I can. Awesome. Standing up, hands in chamber. Front kicks, over your head, ready, one, sir, louder voice, two, sir, three, sir, that's it, four, sir, oh, good job, one more time, right back in that horse ride, and protect the coconut, high blocks, ready, one, sir, two, sir, three, sir, four, sir, fantastic, back to attention, set, you say yes, sir, bow, yes, I can, and you say whoop, whoop, all right, great, great job. Give me a high five. Bonk. Fantastic. You have almost earned your white belt. Notice I said almost. There's a homework assignment. That's gonna be the final key. Your physical techniques look good. You are showing that you believe in yourself, which is spectacular. Now, what is going to be our final assignment to earn your white belt? People who believe in themselves always make their bed. So, if we were to go to your bedroom right now, how does your bed look? All right, so step one is to make sure that it's made every day. Then, is it made well, right? Is it done neatly or did you just kind of throw everything up there? So our goal, when you get your white belt, I'm gonna ask, how's your bed making coming? And you're gonna be able to tell me, it's great, sir because we're gonna practice it. That is your final challenge. So parents, there you go. You are all set. You can stop recording if you haven't already. Then you're gonna post this video up. I would love to see a picture of the before and after of their bed. You will see a lot of these challenges we do all of the time. They are called blue stripe challenges in the karate school. So we do challenges like this with the students. So if you're in the parents group, you scroll back, you'll see all kinds of great things that we like to do. Again. It's not about the sidekick, it's not about the punch, it's not about the martial arts. Our goal is to basically use the martial arts to teach the kids life skills that they can use in the world. And really want to stress that because again, it's, it's unique and people don't understand it. So when they first get started, they just think it's a general activity for their child. And it's really not. This is going to be a leadership and life skills academy that's going to give your child the skills that they need to be leaders in tomorrow's world. And that is truly how we approach every single thing that we do. What is this? How can I teach this better? And what's gonna help the child where they're at right now? So there you have it. You have completed your third and final orientation lesson. Great, great job. Now, what's gonna happen? You're gonna be moving into live classes. Live classes? are a little bit longer. So we do some more things that you haven't seen yet. But with a yes I can attitude, you're gonna be ready for every single thing that we do. And it's the same structure every single class, much like we did in your lessons here with just a couple more sections. If your child is four, five, or six years old, the classes are 30 minutes long. If you are seven or older, class is 45 minutes long. Either way, it's gonna be a great opportunity and great time. So there'll be uh, information on how to log in and join the group classes. You are welcome to do that. You now have two live classes that you're able to join and attend with us. I look forward to seeing right, your final video, your test that you just took, a before and after picture of your bed. How well is that looking now? Great. And then seeing you join us in live class with great belief and a yes I can attitude. All right, here we go. Facing mom or dad, we always finish with our student creed. Structure. To have discipline, to obey what is right and follow the rules. Emotion. To have a positive attitude and a passion for life. Knowledge. To apply what we learn in prestige to our everyday life. Legacy. To be a leader and a role model for others to follow. Winners never quit. Quitters never win. And I choose to be a winner. Asa! And then the parents say, Asa! There you have it. All right, fantastic job. One more high five. Bonk. 
I really enjoyed working with you and I'm super excited to see you joining us in live class super soon. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. Otherwise, I will be sending you a link and getting ready to see you in class. Have a great day and yes, I can.